I want to think about the mortality of life and the fact that, as David would say to his friend Jonathan in 1 Samuel chapter 20, verse 3, Truly, as the Lord lives and as your soul lives, there is but a step between me and death. And it's true, isn't it? I was just talking to a dear friend today on the phone, and he was telling me that he was working with a landscaper, and they were using some soil that um, had been used in a mushroom farm, and uh, some of the spores he had sucked in ended up with two cysts in his brain, um, very serious surgeries and so on. Encephalitis had uh, resulted, and uh, he was out of it for seven weeks, didn't remember anything. And, uh, you know, we have no idea. A little aneurysm in the brain, pop, and uh, we, we're gone. That's why it's so important to have your bags packed and be ready to go. As uh, the famous statement by Jim Elliott, make sure that when it comes to dying, all you have to do is die. Because uh, for many of us, there's just no time to prepare. We need to prepare now uh, so that we're ready to go. Well, this is a story that occurred during the Second World War in uh, November of 1943. And President Roosevelt and the top military brass were making their way secretly across the Atlantic in a convoy, a small convoy, on the USS Iowa. And as they were traveling, all of a sudden they saw a torpedo heading toward the ship. And they wondered, how did the Germans find out uh, this secret journey? Well, it wasn't uh, actually the Germans. The fact is that one of the ships in the little convoy was the William D. Porter. And uh, they had been going through a drill, and someone inadvertently had fired a torpedo at their ship. And through a very extreme turn, the Iowa just missed the torpedo and it exploded about a hundred yards off of the, the ship. And uh, <laughs> they took the whole ship. They escorted it to Bermuda. Everybody in the crew was arrested. There were days and days of interviews. Finally, the ship was sent to the Aleutians. Eventually, interestingly enough, it was uh, torpedoed off the coast of Okinawa. And I think it was the only ship torpedo that went down where every crew member was saved because there were enough ships around to pick up all of the, all of the uh, crew. But you think of this, uh, how it would have affected the war if Roosevelt had been killed. And so often there's a hair's breadth between one series of events and another. My old grandfather used to pray to thank God for protecting us from dangers seen and unseen. And how often he was comforted when perhaps his wife forgot the purse and they had to go back to get the purse. And he would think to himself, God has preserved us perhaps from a collision with a, a tractor trailer truck. Um, at an intersection that he knew exactly was going to be there if we hadn't been delayed. And how often this is the case. My father was delayed when he was taking a, a helicopter connection between two airports in the New York, greater New York area. And he missed the flight by a few minutes. And the helicopter went down and everyone on board was killed. So, it's important for us to realize as we go through life, not to be so frustrated. We need to do our best to be prompt and punctual. But if things happen, sometimes it's God intervening to protect us. And we can say with David, there's but a step between me and death. And yet between me and death, there's someone else who's standing in the way, a very present help, our protector, our guide, we are in him, and as such, we are secure. And so if we're doing the will of God, we can say, I'm immortal till my work is done. 
God has set out a plan for us. And if we're doing his will, then we can rest assured that we won't die a minute before our time is up. So God help us to trust him more in these twists and turns of life, things that seem to be a great distress. And this brother today on the phone said that he wouldn't have planned this, but he thought it well worth it because of the intimacy with the Lord that has developed through this crisis. And many others have said the same thing. I wouldn't have planned it that way, but it was well worth it. God made it worth it to me because of these circumstances. So let's trust the Lord. Our times are in his hand. And we realize that while there's a step between us and death, there's someone in between who is there to protect us and provide for us and direct our lives until our work is done.